hi everyone welcome to another video in this video i will discuss in details about date time expressions that is available in power automate there are approximately 20 uh, functions and expressions that is already given by microsoft that we can use while manipulating date and time objects right now here i have taken a manual trigger flow so that we can test this flow how date time uh, function works and the second thing what I have taken when someone clicks this uh, uh, Microsoft flow the next step is I am initializing the variable I have taken a variable called as initial date and whose type is taken as string you can take any type and in the string I have taken a value so let's say I am taking this is 14th date so I am taking 2021 so always remember this date time format in power automate is like this first is year then hyphen month then date then capital t then first two digit is hour then colon then second two digit is minute then second uh, then then uh, second um, digit then z capital z so this is how your uh, time uh, representation or date and time representation in power automate by default your power automate takes your date time format like this but as per your uh, requirement you can change the format as per your requirement okay now to test all of this uh, date time functions that is already given what i have taken i have taken initial date string and i have assigned a default variable to this date okay and time timing let let me change to 11 currently it is 11 and 29 and second is zero for example okay now what i have to do once i have initialized this variable and i have given this value to this the first function i want to use that is available for date time manipulation is format date time right in this step i am trying to format the uh, default date time value in power automate to something more readable to, to use formats you can use the function like this now if i'll go to this you can see there is a function already available expression called as format date time and when you use this format date time you can see if you scroll down you will see all the date functions available can, can you see that date and time if you click on the see more these are all part of date time function manipulations okay so i have discussed all of these uh, functions in this video so first is format date time format date time expression takes two parameters first it takes the source date which is the variable i have taken here in this stage and in the second parameter it takes the format as i have taken small f in the second parameter that means it will display the date time format in long date time format like this in microsoft you can see standard date time formats are available these are the formats you can use i have used f f means it will display like this right if you pass the object uh, like this format then it will represent as a more readable format right the day then month then uh, sorry the uh, day and date then year timing and details okay so it will give you in readable format so you can use any format as per your choice all the formats are available here this is single digit formats double digit formats is also there right you can use formats like this mm dd yy so according to you you can use it so format date format date and time will give you formatted uh, date format for your source date time let us test this click on test click on manual 7 test now i i don't want to give any input parameter because i have already initialized the variable with my source date time can you see that once it is run now this step is manually triggered and this is the initial variable i have given 2021 09 14 t11 2900z now once it is formatted to f then it will display like this the output is tuesday september 14 2021 11 29 am right so 
the input parameter was this variable and output is this now you can use it according to your desire now click on edit let me change this variable to this format to something like this let's say y y y y hyphen m m d d let me change capital m for now and update now i will test it now once i will test it i can see the new format available for me now click on manual test run it and done now you can see this format is looking like this year month and date so we have seen format initial date time which uh, formats your source date to uh, long date time format now next is add days function like in this add days function it will add a number of days that you want to add to your existing date time i have already taken this variable and here i am adding seven days to your variable i have already taken two days edge today's date as in a variable here you can see now <coughs> this add day function adds the number of days that you want to add here i am adding seven in the current date sorry in the variable and the format i want to display is full date format now let us see how it works test it save run the flow you can also add comments for every state uh, in Microsoft Power Automate. Now this add days, you can see the add days, it is adding 7 days. Today is 14, it is adding 7 days to it. Like that, the next function is add hours. Add hours will add the number of hours to an existing timestamp. Existing timestamp I have already given to the variable. So you can add number of hours that you want to add an existing date. You can also add negative here. If you want to deduct some hours, you can use minus 5 so that it will deduct some hours from an existing timestamp. Right? Like that add minute. Add minute will add some minutes to an existing timestamp. Here I am adding 5 minutes to my existing uh, date and time. Right? and add seconds here i am adding minus six seconds that means it will deduct six seconds from my initial timestamp like that add to time add to time means if you have an existing timestamp and you want to uh, add or remove a uh, time unit whether it is a week or whether it is a day or year you can use this in the third parameter as i have used week so if you want to use some time units like second minute week day year month like that you can use it so you can add time units to an existing timestamp you can also use minus uh, here in this digit i have used two so that it is adding two x more than the variable date like that the next is convert time zone from ist to est let's say you have a uh, time zone you have a timestamp and that timestamp is in your local time zone and my local time zone zone is ist and i want to convert it to eastern time zone then you have to use like this so the function is convert time zone first parameter is the source date time second parameter is the source time zone you can you can find out this time zone codes using microsoft site and uh, second parameter is destination time zone then the format of date time right like that convert from utc to eastern time zone this function will change an initial uh, date timestamp from from eastern time zone to sorry if your timestamp is in utc right universal time zone you can change that to a target time zone as per your choice here i have converted the variable which is having the current time zone uh, ist time zone and utc time zone to 
eastern time zone so any utc time zone you want to convert to your local time zone you can use it convert to convert from utc like that we have convert to utc is there you can use that next day of month this day of month function or expression will give you the number of days the current date or the variable date or time stamp if you want to extract the day of the month of a current time stamp it will give you the uh, day of the month from that time stamp like that there is day of week it will give you the uh, specific day of the week from a time stamp and this will give you day of the year day of the year means what is the day because year is a 365 days now is time stamp is given and that date that falls in this time stamp is which day of the year whether it is third year third day or 200th year uh, 200th day of the year it will display like that like formal date format date time if you want to change an existing timestamp to a different type of format you can use it i have already told you in the first step next get future time that's it you want to add five days to your current date time right then it will display your next future day five days day time stamp like that get fast time it will deduct six days the second the uh, second uh, first is the digit how many days you want to deduct this second timestamp you can give week day year month like that and the third one is the format d stands for which format if you go here you can check d is the long date pattern this one right next start of the day if there is a timestamp you have you can use start of the day to identify uh, what date is the start of the day for this timestamp okay so like start of the hour right from a timestamp it will retrieve the start of the hour then start of the month right start of the month will take the variable and it will return the start start of the month then subtract from time if you have a timestamp and you want to subtract uh, some uh, time unit from that date then you can use subtract from time and ticks ticks will give you how many ticks are there from a timestamp now let us test all of this i have already taken a date here in this variable and let us use all these functions for this date let us see click on test and manual test click on run flow now done now here once it is run you can check one by one the date is 21 2021 9 14 11 29 00 it is it formatted to f that means long format date time format with uh, am pm then it is trying to add seven days to this so it will give you september 21 then it will add five hours now the hour was the hour was 11 29 now it is adding five hours so it changed changed to 4 29 pm right next it is trying to add five minutes so it was 11 previously it was 11 29 it added five minutes 11 34 like that it is subtracting six seconds right now once six second is subtracted now previously it was 11 29 now it is changed to 11 28 also i am not showing here seconds you can show the seconds digit here right now next add to time i am adding two weeks to this date now once i will add two weeks the date is 14 september now it is 28 september right like that i am converting time zone the i am converting ist to est right ist is september 14 11 29 it is september 14 7 29 am 
right it is converting to est i want to convert utc to eastern if utc time is this one september 14 2021 tuesday 11 29 then when it will be converted to est then it will give you september 14 2021 7:29. like that day of the month as the date date is september 14 tuesday 2021 the day of the month is 14 right because 14 is a date like that day of the week this is the second day of the week because this is tuesday that's why this is the second day of week first is monday zero is sunday so this counts like this so this is two that means second day of week day of the year 257 day of the year because year is 365 day for this year the current date is 257th day right format date time it is formatting to year month and date get future time i am adding five days to current date september 14 is the source date i am adding five days so september 19 get past time i am subtracting six days it is september 8 because today is september 14 start of day right so start of day means it is 14 september tuesday now it is giving 14 september tuesday right this is the start of the day zero zero you can see here the timing is timing is reset to zero because this is the start timing timing was 11 29 as source but it is reset to zero like that start of the hour hour starts from zero so it sets sorry hour starts from 11 so it started with 11 next start of the month month starts with one because today uh, is 14th but first day is 01 9 2021 like that subtract from time i am subtracting some timing from the uh, current date so the current date is september 14 tuesday i am subtracting uh, one hour right one day right so it is 13 like that ticks how many ticks is there in the current date so it will give you the ticks right so that you can identify the age of or you can calculate the age of some uh, person using this tick functionality so these are all date time functionality that you can use which are available in microsoft power automate thank you for watching this video see you in next video thank you